us. We will give him 15 minutes to present his topic and then we would proceed from there. Mr. Hill, are you ready? Hello, good morning or good afternoon. Phil? Yes, good afternoon. Thank you, the floor is yours, please. Honorable moderator, distinguished panelists and uh, distinguished participants. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. I would like to just first say one thing about Gogme. Um, Gogme is one of the best practices that came out of the National Integrated Maritime Strategy in Ghana, NIMS. So, okay, um, the agenda today is I'd like to talk first about what the bottom line up front is, which is better governance is needed by every country, not just Africa. Um, I'll answer the question of our national and regional strategies needed. What are the essentials of the strategic process, gaps in implementation, and best practices? Uh, so the bottom line up front uh, that I would like to talk about is first of all, as I mentioned before, global pandemic focused on a few things. One is shipping is important. And I'm not saying that just because I work for IMO. I'm saying it because 90% of the trade in Africa goes by sea. And 90% and of the trade globally goes by sea. Our next speaker is Dr. Kamal Dean, um, who is going to talk about the legal frameworks that impinge regional and national maritime strategies. Uh, Dr. Kamal Dean Ali is a retired Navy captain who is the executive director of the Center for Maritime Law and Security Africa. He was previously the director of legal affairs of the Ghana Navy and the director of research of the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College. He holds a PhD in law, master's of law and master of arts in international relations. He has extensive academic and professional expertise in maritime security and ocean governance. He has participated in several global initiatives, regularly providing expert input or support to the activities of international maritime governance institutions and other partners. He has okay. okay, so uh, I muted me now. So I was being held. You, I was being held ransom by your good self. So. <laughs> yeah, so Sorry about I, that. that is okay. A matter for technology. Yes. So I, I couldn't. I could do very little, but I knew at some point it will be figured true. out that uh, the host is the one that, that is, is controlling the, the, the. So I also hope my my slides are being shown. Yes, please. So okay. So thank, thank you, Gogmi, and thank you, colleagues and um, uh, partners for this um, important uh, discourse on regional and national maritime strategy. Of course, this is a very broad topic and uh, Phil has already excellently laid the, if you want, the framework for regional and national maritime security strategy. Uh, what I have to do is a very simple job to raise our naval headquarters. He is currently the chief of staff at the general headquarters of the Ghana Armed Forces. He holds a Master of Arts degree in international relations from the South Regina University, USA, and a postgraduate diploma in public administration from the Ghana in Oyakubu. is an avid researcher and has authored numerous papers on maritime security and strategy. He is a co-author and co-editor of the official history of the Ghana Navy titled History of the Ghana Navy, a case for a credible Navy, naval force for national development. Okay, thank you. First of all, um, good afternoon, Madam Moderator. Thank you for the job you are doing and good afternoon, distinguished panelists and participants. On behalf of the Gulf of Guinea Maritime Institute, I wish to thank you all for taking time off your busy schedule to join this important discussions. You know, in the midst of the COVID pandemic, the criminals are not in a lockdown. In fact, they have upped their game. 
So it is important that whilst we are unable to come together physically to strategize on how to deal with them, we should use these new technologies to continue the dialogue. So she is a multi jurisdictional lawyer with a career spanning a period of 40 years. She's presently a member of the African Union Commission on International Law since the early 2017. She's also the special rapporteur for parity and maritime security. First of all, we must pay attention to the creation of a combined exclusive maritime zone, uh, as envisaged by AIMS 2050, uh, plus the delimitation of maritime boundaries between states. Nonetheless, um, in terms of management and pooling our limited resources together, this could be a very, very important working tool. Uh, we take note of certain new developments of the large um, offshore hydrocarbon discoveries that have been made from all the way from, I think, Mauritania down, uh, of course, Angola studied for some time. Nigeria has been in the forefront uh, for some time, too, in this uh, area. Um, and these, the discoveries are taking place continentally in Kenya, Uganda, uh, Ethiopia, uh, in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, it seems to be uh, one great bonanza in terms of uh, discoveries of um, energy uh, resources for the continent. And uh, so we must take note of the new production sharing pack, uh, program or insistence that is in virtually all these new uh, agreements uh, with the joint venture partners that are coming in, plus the creation of sovereign wealth funds. Now, it's good to know that seven out of the Gulf of Guinea and nations have provisions for sovereign uh, wealth funds. Uh, we'll quickly move on to our final speaker because we are a little behind time. Our final speaker is Mr. Dixon Ose Bonsu. He's a chief legal advisor at the National Security Council Secretariat and coordinator of the Government of Ghana's Security Governance Initiative. He was educated at the University of Ghana, Harvard University, and the Ghana School of Law. His expertise lies in the law of governance of risks bearing on national security, DBRN threats, money laundering, terrorism, cyber, maritime, border, internal security, and rule of law. He has 22 years experience in role in implicating law, academia, and public policy, as well as experience advising governmental and regional leaders on secure legal matters. He is a member of the Ghana Bar, the International Bar, the International Society for Maritime Law, the World Institute for Nuclear Security, and the National Security Policy Technical Working Group. He has authored three books in founding director of the National Security Institute board member of the Financial Intelligence Center, a national focal point for the International Criminal Court. Mr. Osei Bunsu has served as technical advisor, adjunct lecturer, external examiner, moderator, speaker, team lead, participant, and subject expert in Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Malawi, Ethiopia, Tunisia, China, Colombia, Russia, and among other countries. Mr. Dixon, the floor is yours. Thank and so without much ado, I'd like to quickly go through these slides with you. And so mainly, I mean, Ghana itself is a literal state. I mean, a literal state in the sense that Ghana has, um, is um, a maritime nation, has um, sea borders, and has a uh, 450 kilometer coastline. You know, and he is at an extended continental shelf, you know. And currently, our maritime space is quite out, um, our stretches our land space. Um, the, the development of maritime tourism, I mean, as a huge dimension of our touristic interest in this country, is also a matter or an issue that is itself a driver. And largely, 
or by far the major driver that has actually pushed maritime matters in this country. In Ghana, for example, in talking about the National Integrated Maritime Strategy, a technical working group, and I'm happy that the, this slide has the pictures of that technical working group. So these are members, some of them include persons who have even presented actually here, include Phil Heil, who acted as a external consultant and then also a number of US personalities who have been very much um, implicated in the, um, the work that we have done with NIMS. Um, please, please. Yes, as uh, you mentioned, my name is Asma Hamidi and I work with a company called Great Minds Event Management um, based in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. And uh, I'd like to announce and also invite you to a, a conference, a virtual conference that we are organizing under the title of Secure Waters Africa. Um, we are organizing this conference in partnership with the Gulf of Guinea Maritime Institute, GOGMI. And it's going to happen on the 9th and the 10th of September on Zoom. Um, the event is also hosted by the uh, Ghana Navy. Um, so basically, just in brief, the event will look at or discuss the best strategies and the best technologies as well that can help with strengthening Africa's maritime um, security. And uh, we will have um, navies and the coast guards, marine corps, port authorities, and also some of the oil companies, oil and gas companies, and fishing and shipping companies um, that are operating in, uh, in the region. Uh